single, but it is what it is. Yeah, we can, we can pivot it down a bit. Like so. All right, so that'll actually be second pound now. Should be. Yeah, if that multimeter's not powerful enough, I might need to get a more powerful one. Are you videoing now? Mm -hmm. All right, so we've un unboxed one of our panels to test it out. Um, the panels seem to arrive pretty good condition. Corners, corner on this one's a little rough, but I mean, I'm not concerned about that. Um, as I said in my ramble this morning, these are eco-worthy panels. Um, they're not budget by any means or stretch. Um, they are basically 190 bucks for a 195 watt panel, a um, little shy of $190. So you're looking at a dollar a watt. Um, in comparable terms. Um, we haven't got this angled optimally for the sunshine and we haven't reached the zenith for sunshine where we are at the moment, so um, the peak. So if anything, this will probably work better once we adjust those angles. Um, this particular panel is rated for um, 21.6 volts um, is the VOC, the open, cir open circuit voltage. Um, which they refer to as VOC. And that's one of the limitations that you need to consider when you're plugging this into um, inverters and what have you. Um, and it's also rated, uh, it has a short circuit current, so the ISC of uh, 11.8 amps. Um, for some reason, I thought it was actually less than that, but that's okay. Um, so again, the, the amperage, if you're wiring these things up in parallel, you do have to bear in mind that the amps get added together. So whatever device you've got, if it like really is sensitive to amperage, um, or at least the potential for it, then you may have some issues. But most devices think amps get pulled. So if your device is only rated for 15 amps, it's only going to pull 15 amps, even if it's got 22 available to it. Um, it's what they call over amping on panels. So um, Anyway, that's quite warm already. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to test this out with the multimeter. Okay, it's set to DCV. Cool. Ready? And we're really going to test the voltage out on this now. So just a, a good multimeter will do the job. Um, I've actually got one of those clamp ones, which I think you can actually put around there and it'll probably do similar things. But we'll take Dawn's multimeter because it doesn't get enough use and it's going to get a lot of use moving forward. <laughs> Red to red, black to black, red is positive. You want to read the number out on the thing. Okay, so we're pulling, whoops, yeah. I did have it there briefly. 22.4, it got to 22.6, it's run, running 22.3 now. So 22.3 volts is what this is pulling at the moment. And again, this is not optimal and not, not peak sun. All right, DC-10A. All right, we're going to test the amperage out now. One thing to consider is that depending on the time of year, you're going to have hotter temperatures and colder temperatures, which will affect all your voltage and amp settings and stuff as well. So I'm going to assume, and I've not heard this said anywhere, that it's a good idea to, to test these things from time to time. To make sure that they are they are good. We're looking at 8.88, All right, so we're pulling 8.89 amps. So I'll take the lower setting of 8.88. And we have 22.3. So 22.3 volts times 8.8 .8 amps equals 196.24. Um, watts, because volts times amps equals watts. Um, and I mean, there's a bunch of other factors that'll that'll kick into this, like what kind of wiring you, you're using, uh, what gauge wiring, how long the wiring is, what devices you're plugging it into, blah, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of things that will affect, you know, what actually happens at the other end. But this is looking good. So we're probably going to go ahead and test our panels to make sure that they are all good. Check them all out. And um, ideally, what I would like to do, if I if have to make sure I've got all the bits and pieces, I've still got stuff arriving, will be to wire some of these up in serial and um, uh, plug them into the Delta Pro when we've unpacked the Delta Pro.
Good. Thank you very much. Kia ora.